Hi, everybody. This is Nikki Moon. I am here with Sarah Hagen from Sarah Hagen Backstage. Welcome, Sarah. How are you doing? Thank you so much. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. How's the uh, weather up there in Boston today? Um, it's okay. It was at least sunny. It was, uh, we almost made it to 60 degrees. So, you know. Okay. It's okay. About, about the same here in, in Jersey. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. Right on. Um, are you in like Boston proper? Or are you like... Uh, I am little just, little. Um, I, I like to say I'm halfway between Boston and the Cape. I'm on the South shore of yeah, Massachusetts. So yeah, 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 it's a good spot. I did an internship at Zildjian in my senior year. And that was, that was just like, I found my love and I just stuck with it. Okay. Well, you just gave me a great end to ask you the next like question then. Um, how did that come about? Because I, as a drummer since age six and I'm 40 now, um, always wanted to work at Zildjian and I probably sent like I can't tell you how many applications I mailed into them and never heard anything back from them so how did you get yourself the magical internship well I I lived nearby and I was um I actually was working in high school at a local like coffee shop coffees and you know coffee and sandwiches kind of thing um and the the people who worked at Zildjian and the Zildjian family used to come in and get coffee and sandwiches all the time and Armin Zildjian used to wow. come in that's crazy. yeah and he used to come in and he would order the number eight the eggplant special I can now I'll never forget it and I was like so I was so awestruck by him like you you know growing up I played did Zildjian you know cymbals was? what was that did you know who he was like were you are you yes yeah. I knew who he was because um I used to get the Z time magazine and he always wrote like the foreword, right? And it had a picture of him. So he would come in and I would be like, oh, it's Armand, you know? And my coworkers were just like, what is up with what? Hey, like, who's this? <laughs> you know, yeah. who's this guy? Why are you? I would hide in the back because I, you know, I couldn't, I didn't want to talk to him because he was <laughs> Armand Zildjian. Oh so my my, on, my, on my last day of work, um, my boss, or, you know, I was going off to college and my boss was like, Sarah, you know, he Armand came in and of course I went and hid in the back and my boss, you know, I was like this shy kid, so 18 years old. And, um, my boss was like, this is ridiculous. It's your last day of work. You have to say hi to him. So my boss said, this is Sarah. She plays the drum. She loves your symbols. And Armand was, he just like lit up, like his face lit up and he spent 35 minutes talking to me about symbols and drums and what music I liked and what I played and it was like it was magical it was just like he really really cared and he took the time with me um just to like show show me how much he cared and then he he said you know will you be here tomorrow and I said no this is my my last day I'm going off to college and he said okay I'm supposed to be in a meeting right now but I'm gonna go back I'll be back before the end of the day so for the rest of the day I was like what is what is he is he coming back is he going to come back you know that like yeah that nervous like yeah nervous feeling <laughs> and and he did he came back right before we closed and he brought me a girl's t-shirt which I didn't even know they made a girl's shirt at the time you know like oh, everything was geared toward boys when oh, I was a kid yeah and a pair of drumsticks and a symbol that he signed and it said to Sarah Armin Zildjian and I like nearly fell over yeah. I was just like I you know it just floored me and I said can I hug you and he, and he said yes of course so I ran I went around the counter and I gave him the biggest hug and then he um he went out the door and he turned around and he goes keep swinging kid and I was like oh my gosh like it, I'm telling you that moment just it changed my life like it just stuck That's, with me oh man you know there was one of those moments. And then when I was in college doing my internship, or I had to do an internship and it was for my English degree and the internships they offered, I really was just like, oh, I'm just going to have to suck it up and get through this. And, you yeah. know, like, like a lot of internships are, but then I thought, well, maybe I can make an internship like myself. Maybe I can figure one out. So I went to my advisor and I asked, you know, if I found something that fit the requirements, would you let me do it? Yeah. And she said, yeah, well, let me know what it is. So I called Zildjian and I said, you know, I'm doing this degree and do you have any internship openings? And they said, actually we do. We're interviewing like in the next couple of days, come in and interview. Wow. 
and um, I got the internship and then that was it. And I, you know, I, I framed that symbol back then, had it on my wall in my room for years. Um, it's going back up in my office behind me, um, but it was just, you know, I like, I, I had that in my office. I worked for Zildjian for 16 years. I had that symbol framed in my office for 16 years and I would look up at it, you know, and I did have some interactions with Armand, um, before he passed away while I was working there, but I would look up at that symbol and think like, he had no idea that taking the time with this, you know, young girl in a coffee shop would end up you know, as I, I felt for that time period that I was at Zildjian, my most important thing was to carry on what he had built with artist relations, carry on his legacy. And so it just reminded me to always treat everybody like they are who they are, like they're somebody, you know, like they are important. Everybody is important. It doesn't matter what band you're in, what stage you're playing on, who you are, what your name is, you're, you know, you're valuable and so that was just a, such an amazing lesson from him. That's so cool. So like, what was your sort of, like, what was your input? What was your what, job? What your sort of your role in the sound team? As far um, as kind of guy. I would. <laughs> um, well, I'll just let you explain. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I brought a lot of artist feedback, you uh -huh. know, like I would, I would go to Paul and be like, Hey, listen, when I'm picking out symbols for, um, you know, the artists lately, they're all asking for this but in a 19 you know so i see okay you know what i mean so then like we would talk about it figure some things out he would make some prototypes but paul was you know you've you've seen the genius of paul so you know an artist would call and say like i need they talk to me they'd be like i need a 24 inch uh k constantinople which we didn't make yeah. um and i needed to be you know i needed to have some like over hammering and i needed to to just be like, you know, a little bit drier than normal, something like that. So then I would go to Paul and translate this request. And Paul- He's just, like, hang on a second, I got yeah, something here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would say he would say these words all the time. I'll be right back. Yeah. Those were the Paul Francis words. Okay. Um, he'll tell you the same thing. And at one point I was just like, I, after, after a couple of years of I'll be right back, I, <laughs> I said to him, I'm like, where are you going? Where are you <laughs> going that you're back. getting like all the, you know? So. so, so all right. Well, um, anything else that you want to let the uh, wonderful people of the internet know about where they can get in touch with Sarah Hagen or uh, anything else that you'd like to share? Um, yeah, if you want to get in touch, I'm on Instagram, Sarah Hagen Drums. Um, and then the podcast is Sarah Hagen Backstage. Um, if you send me a message on Instagram, I always answer. It might take me a minute, but I will answer. And, um, you know, I love to answer questions. If anybody is thinking about getting into the industry or has questions about it or endorsement questions or what they should do about whatever, um, write to me. I, I love doing, you know, Zoom calls when someone needs it and like, you know, whatever I can do to help, I'm here for. Cool. Sarah Hagen is available, people. <laughs> All right. Well, I uh, would like to thank you one more time for uh, taking the time to talk to me today. And um, I'm going to be paying a visit up to uh, the good city of Boston fairly soon. And uh, I will uh, hit you up. We'll uh, get a drink. Yes. Cool. Yes, absolutely. I can't wait to see you in person. All righty. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.